Onsong now supports a new media format called multi-tracks. Multi-tracks are more than just regular backing tracks. Onsong has always been able to play backing tracks, which are usually comprised of left and right stereo audio information, and a lot of times those tracks are compressed into an MP3 or M4A file. So what is a multi-track? Well, when you record music, a lot of times you'll do that using multiple channels. Each of those channels can be recorded as separate tracks, and then adjustments made to each one of those tracks. If you're recording in the studio, you may even record drums, and then add bass, guitar, and finally vocals as you methodically create the music instead. All of this usually involves a DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation app, like Logic. As you can see here in my project, I have 16 tracks that I've recorded. Now I've done this all at once during a rehearsal, so it's not perfect, but it'll get the point across. I then also went through and renamed all the tracks to the type of instrument that it is, so I can better understand what I'm mixing. And I also put a click track in as well, and you can see I put that up at the top. So to make a multi-track that I can bring into Onsong, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna go over to File, choose export and then export all tracks as audio files. This gives me a lot of options. For starters, I'm going to want to make a new folder. So I'm going to do that here. And I'll just call this new song and I'll create that folder. Now, Onsong Multitracks can understand a lot of different file formats, but it does need to be uncompressed. And luckily, Logic doesn't give us the option to compress the audio here. Uh, so I can choose either AIF or WAVE files. I'm going to pick WAVE. That seems to be a little bit more standard in the multitrack realm. And I have a bunch of other options here too. But one of the things that I want to do is change the pattern for the file naming. And I want that instead to be the track number followed by the track name, like this. I might even want to put a space in between that. And you can see down in the file name example, the first track will be 01 click dot wave. Then I'm going to hit export. We give Logic a few moments here as we're exporting the track. There. Now I'm going to come over here and switch to my finder and open up that folder. And you can see I have new song with all my tracks, all named after the track name with the track number. Now to import that into OnSong, we're going to want to take that and create a zip file. So on a Mac, I'm going to select all my files and hit right click and hit compress. On Windows, it's a similar function. Now you can see that this multi-track is going to be quite large, and multi-tracks usually are. And one of the reasons for making a zip file and importing it inside of Onsong is we can condense that if we're not using it, and we can also re-download the multi-track file from Dropbox or Google Drive, again, if we want to get the full resolution of the file after it's been condensed. And again, this is just different techniques that we're trying to put together uh, because we know that a multi-track could very easily reach a gigabyte in size because of the uncompressed nature of the stem files. Again, stem files being each one of those track files. Now, it's going to create a zip file called archive. I can tap and rename it new song. Now I've taken that zip file and because it's quite large, I just plugged my iPad into uh, my computer using a regular USB charge sync cable. And using the Finder on Mac, I transferred that file over to what we, call, what we call file sharing. And so I can very easily import it much faster than I can via Dropbox or Google Drive, but you could do it there as well. And you can see here I have a zip file called New Song. I'm going to select it. And once I'm done, I hit done. Now you can see it didn't import any songs because, well, there's no songs in the multi-track. Um, although there are things you can put in that zip file that Onsung would understand. So for instance, if you wanted to put it in a PDF file or a text space or Onsung text file, Chord Pro, Onsung can read that during the import and bring that into your library as well. And it would also take any square artwork that you put in there, like a ping or JPEG file, and make that the album artwork. 
but all the multi-tracks go into our OnSong audio media library. So here we go. We now have our new song multi-track right here and I can tap on it. I'm going to tap and hold and tap mix. And this is going to bring up a quick little interface. And now you can see I have all of my tracks in here. Uh, I have my master volume, my click is first, followed by my vocals, my piano, acoustic, guitar, bass, snare, everything's in here. And then I can hit play. And there we have it. We've just created a new multi-track file in Logic, exported the files, created a zip file, and then imported that into OnSong. OnSong recognized it's a multi-track and put it in my audio media library. And from there, I can play it and I can also mix it and do all kinds of other things with that as well.